Identity theft is a problem that affects millions of people every year. In New Haven, one woman not only lost her identity, but also her job. Tonight, she's counting on Abe to help her get her life back on track. News Channel's Annie Wark is here now with her story. Jocelyn and Ted, the victim was mugged at gunpoint in Norwalk. Her purse was stolen. In it, she had her license, birth certificate, and social security card. She reported the crime to the police, but that was just the beginning of her nightmare. The name on the mugshot is Tavara Bostic, but this is the real Tavara Bostic. And this woman has been posing as her for over a year and a half. First, the real Bostic started getting collections notices. She opened up a banking account in my name and just put it, I, I have no idea whatsoever. Though. The bills now total over $5,000. Bostic is disputing them, but it's affected her credit. Of course. I can't get anything. I can't get an apartment. I can't get a car. I can't get anything. But she still had her job driving for ABC charter buses on her commercial driver's license until she got this. Stating that my license is about to be suspended. The imposter was pulled over in West Haven with no registration, no insurance, only a license saying she was Tavara Bostic. The real Bostic went to court. The DMV couldn't reinstate her license. And then Bostic herself was pulled over while driving a bus to the Haven Sun. It was somebody else's negligence was on my license as to why my license was suspended. But she lost her job. Her case is well documented. She's been working with West Haven Police as well as the state's attorney's office. But in the meantime, she's lost her job, owed thousands to creditors, and has been told she cannot be compensated for any of it. I feel like that's not fair. That's, that's sad. The system is failing us, literally. Bostic finally caught a break. West Haven police were able to issue a warrant for identity fraud after the imposter was arrested again. This time it was in New Haven in one of their prostitution stings. Well, she gave her her own name on that one. I'm glad. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you know. Now the imposter will be in Milford Superior Court in January. Bostic plans to go and tell her side of it. If the court rules in her favor, she hopes she'll be able to clear her record and get her license reinstated once and for all. Jocelyn.